So we're working on the door handles now. So what we do, we've got it mocked up a little bit here. So as you can see, uh, these are regular equipment like you'd find on a John Deere payloader or a lot of uh, agricultural equipment. So uh, they work very similar uh, to a standard uh, vehicle latch and it has the post catch and we're gonna mount the post catch just on the inside of the door. So what uh, the tricky part about this was making sure this was flush. This would connect with the paddle latch in here. And yet this is not the normal orientation you wanna mount this. You wanna mount this on standard would have been tipped down so your post could have just been sticking straight out of your door jam like this. Ours is gonna come out and be vertical for the simple fact that then our door latch is gonna be a pullback. And what's gonna be really nice about that is that, wow, you're in the snow cat and your door is closed, instead of trying to fumble around with up or down or whatever, it's just a simple reach forward, pull it straight back, door is gonna swing wide open. All right, so we've got our door plate uh, formed up, welded on. We've got our door handles here. So this is equipment style. This push button has a key lock in it. And then the adjustment is made right here, setting the set screw in and out, which in turn hits the paddle in here to unlock. Or if you're inside, simply give that a pull. And then this here on a normal orientation would obviously be like this on an automotive or equipment, but uh, we're going to go ahead and mount it vertically uh, so that when you reach up inside the snowcat, all you gotta do is give that a pull back and that'll be real intuitive for making sure that uh, you're getting out in a short order. So we'll go ahead and mount these with the three set screws. And again, we'll have to pull this off once we get the sheeting on the door, but for testing purposes, this will work just fine. We did recess these screw holes on the bottom of this mounting plate so that it's nice and smooth under here. So if it ever gets where the door latches out of place, it's not gonna hit it. So that gives us our uh, door latch in place, locks it in. Again, when you're inside, open. When you're closing the door, it's gonna lock like that. You're gonna be able to push it open like that. So real simple, easy. These will double as a good handhold as you're climbing in. Some of the paddle latches are nice because they're smooth and that, but this here is nice and rounded. It's not gonna catch much brush, but yet be a good handhold and an easy in and out. So we'll go ahead and mount our mounting bracket, see where that needs to go up. We're gonna use angle iron so it's nice and stout. Mock that up, I think we'll grab a big C-clamp and lock that in place so we can do some, do some measurements here. Again, as we're mounting that said, we've got to be mindful of this eighth inch 
nut plate here. So we got to make sure that there's enough clearance between that and our striker plate. So we want to make sure like right now it's flush. We're going to drop that down an eighth of an inch. Just thinking about a handhold here, as you see I reach and grabbing. It's gonna be pretty slick here. As we get mounting this, uh, just looking at an opportunity for a hand grab hold to attach to this plate here, not only making that a little more rigid, but also giving you a good, uh, good grip as you're grabbing, getting in the snow cat. So we're probably gonna need one there and one up here somewhere. So. This is going to function in a dual purpose roll here, which will be great because you don't want this to be sticking out to the point where somebody's going to stub a shin on it or catch your boot, up, boot on it and trip out the door. So uh, we'll get that welded in place and uh, slotted. So. so we did end up changing the door post latch up a little bit. So the door post originally we were going to mount it on angle iron so it was a little more rigid. But the problem we had with that was there was not enough adjustment. So this here uh, bolt hole is slotted, so the door post can move fore and aft. And then we also have these um, two bolts in here, and that's slotted so that you can do finute adjustment either way to get that door latch closing perfectly. Now, if you promise not to freak out, I'm going to give you a little sneak preview on the sheeting here. But we're going to save that for a different time. But here's the door latch. Pop that open real quick. That opens super smooth. Then when we jump in the snowcat, showcase how with the sheeting on, how this works. So there we go. Snaps closed, easy to adjust, nice position. And the best part about it, just reach ahead, pop her open. She's open for getting in and out, easy access. So I'll leave a link in the description below for the door latches. So I ended up using four of them. I've got one on driver's side, passenger side, and then the rear doors have them also. So the nice thing about that is they're really reasonably priced and they work great and you can mount them in a lot of different orientations to make it work for your build. So if you've liked this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you've got a comment for me, I'd love to hear it. Leave it in the description and be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. So thanks again. Really enjoyed this. We'll see you on the snow.